All right, looks like we're live. Get social media posts as we typically do. Get all this stuff out of here. Check that sound is working for one. Hello. Sick. Okay, <laughs> today has been an exhausting day. Had to basically run out and get food as soon as uh, I got back from work because I got back from work like 45 minutes after four, <laughs> which is pretty late for me. Oh yeah, we wanna go here. This will allow us to get the Impa cutscene and whatnot dealt with since we gotta do that still. Excuse me. All right. Should just be a walk and a stroll down. like my companion I guess they're calling it <laughs> giving it its own personality <laughs> all of them especially the bird man Maybe. Is that it? No, I was expecting way more than that. Okay. Okay. What are you doing? It's already dark? I guess so. <laughs> Are we missing any inventory stuff? Not really. Let's make our hearts get where they need to be. <laughs> need the meal for this anyway. But yeah, today was pretty busy. As far as getting stuff done, I had to not only coordinate getting all of my work done, but also helping my coworker get his work done. There was a lot to do. But wasn't so bad. Just made me very tired after a day's work. <laughs> what else do I want? I think I want stamina. Yeah, we're we're out of stamina stuff right now. <laughs> Something. Is there anything else for stamina I have? I have an endure carrot. Yeah, okay. One more of those should be fun. I didn't realize there were actually two carrots in this game. I've been playing this game for like two years. What's going on? <laughs> okay, so we got the Master Sword clip. Let's not do that. That's better. Uh, I would like... I guess to get some of the... better armor that we can get. I think the best way about that is to go to Akala and then travel along this way to go up here to activate the tech lab because the tech lab would be pretty favorable in the area we're going to go to make us so that we don't get completely destroyed by everything there. So let's, let's think about doing that. I believe there's also a horse 
somewhere along here. Surprised we don't have any beacon. Yeah, it's like right here. So we'll go from here to the horse station, get the shrine, and move along. It seems fun. Other than today being busy, hope everybody who's watching had a good Mother's Day, whether or not you are a mother or not. Um, I went home and saw my family for that weekend. It's going to be cold. And it's lightning. Oh boy. That's scary. So I need some anti-lightning gear here. That's what that's for, duplex bow, and pretty much everything here. <laughs> Alright, we're good. So I need to somehow figure out where that stable is. If it's like around here, at least in this direction is where I need to look. Where are we? There it is. Yep. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. That's where we're going. Thunderstorms are scary. <laughs> yeah, I see this devil. It's right below me. Doi. It's interesting that it's doing the super cold music now. It's not that cold, is it? Oh, there's also, uh, we haven't done the dragon quest yet. I could do that on stream as well. Maybe that's why it's cold here, I don't know. What is the point of this? Oh, okay. Is that it? That was pretty easy. Oh yeah. Some lasers. This clearly needs to be hit to deactivate the lasers in some way. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Interesting. How do we go here? We just run? Yeah. Okay. Now I have to figure out how we get this chest. I believe I saw one rotate below us. Oh, there it is. Can't use the wind. How do we get this in a reasonable way? That's nah, too fast. I have to do it on the way up. But that is the right idea, definitely. I'm gonna just shoot it twice. Oh my god. Ugh. So much death and destruction for Link. I'm sorry.
There we go. All right. We got. Him. Better be worth it. Wow, a Zora spear, incredible. Uh, there's nothing worth getting rid of for that. Oh well, <laughs> we did it at least. It's a chest activation. No, it's a switch activation. Oh god. There you go. Oh, come on, buddy. I know you can do it. There you go. Thankfully, not too hard. <laughs> Is anything on back? It feels like a pretty big platform. Looks like no, though. Oh, well. At least we get the spirit orb. That's something. Okay, there's our next target. Can get our horse. Do I have any scales? I don't think I do. No, no scales of dragons. Got Hinox stuff and Adora stuff, Mondunga stuff rather. Give me my horse. I also need to get the uh, the white horse, if possible. I know the general area to get that, and the black horse as well. Yeah. You could also just do it with our horse. We don't really need that crazy of a horse to do this. Where's Beetle? There he is. Give me arrows. I am so low on arrows. <laughs> Alright, that's better. Now we have our horse. We have a reasonable amount of arrows. Should be okay. I'm gonna try and use something longer range, but I guess this is our best bet. And then we also want to use something that is not good in lightning as our equipment. There we go. Are you friend or foe? Ah, fang and bone. I don't think these guys have anything useful. Not sure though. Yeah. Alright. We're done here. Where are we going? We're going up here. There's no rain, so it looks like we're safe at the moment. There's no guardians in this spot at the moment. But there are some around here. I'll keep my eyes open. Pretty sure it's like the forested area underneath where the uh, the Great Fairy is. Yep. Well, my disposition tells me I must do this. Goodbye, sir. Still on the hunt for Fang and Bone, eh? I know where he is. He is... Right here. If you want to activate him. 
Maybe later. Oh, it's fire bats. I was like, is that another blood moon? Didn't we have one last stream? Not this time. While we're doing this, what else has happened since last stream? I got to see uh, Endgame for Avengers. It was definitely good. Better than the first half. I was actually not too big of a fan of the first half. Other than like a few choice scenes, I thought it was pretty boring. But uh, this time, they did a much better job at illustrating like actual character development <laughs> and having some good moments on screen. Whereas last time, I, I feel like it was kind of like the Thanos shell, but like, you didn't really care about Thanos all that much. Oh, hello. So, I don't know. Maybe I just wasn't in the mood at the time when I saw it. Okay. Um, it also helps that Endgame had the first half of Avengers. Infinity War so that you could like have that background I feel like that helped a little bit with keeping the story like a little bit more heavily focused in some ways um, the only issue I think was it didn't need to be three hours long I feel it, I think it was, it was like kind of pandering but I still kind of enjoyed it for like the experience of a three hour long movie it was interesting to be in a movie that was that long. I've never been in something that long before. <laughs> All right, let's get this shrine too. Uh, this is one of the... Another remote control one, huh? Yeah, it is. I hope this doesn't take too long. <laughs> I was scared from the last one. Oh god, it's one of these. Okay. Okay. Now I can hit it. Gotta hit it just right. Do I get a new ball? Do I have to restart? Yes, okay. So I have to exit out every time I wanted to do it again. That's kind of mean. Oh, well, we got it. It's fine. We should have got it. Did I have to stay on screen to see that? I think we did. Where is the new ball? There it is. Okay. Guess we have to stay on screen to watch it go in. Or we hit it too hard. Okay. Wow. There we go. That should be fun. There we go. Where's the chest though? Is there another one of these? Or is it just gonna be like super easy access? Must be behind it. It's my only explanation. Ah, there's another one. Okay. That's where the chest is. Part two. Curved shot. Okay. Oh my god. 
so hard to control sometimes. All right, I think we actually just got it first try. No. Oh, that's so mean. We totally had that. Unlucky. I think this is slightly curved. Yeah. That should do it. I would hope. The momentum is so slow. Come on. Get in there. There you go. Alright, good, good. Nice. What do I win? I win a, a platform. <laughs> Does that reset the platform or no? No. But it does provide us something to do while we wait for the platform to come back, I guess. So no harm. We'll get our heart back anyway. Wow. Holy crap. That crap is good. Get that. Gimme, gimme. What are we getting rid of? All of our weapons are so good. Oh, no. That's... That's a shame. I guess we've used this a lot, though. Fine. Okay. That's this one. I think the next time we get a uh, a spirit orb upgrade, I'm going to go for stamina, since I did so many with hearts before, <laughs> just to get the master sword in time. Could also deal with uh, Satan to switch stuff around, but I I don't feel the need to get stamina that badly. It'd just be helpful for the final area to have a little bit more than what we have. I'm not going to grind it, of course. I'm just going to get stuff that we need as we go. But, uh... Oh, actually, speaking of this... And the end game. There's a memory we can get. I don't think I'm going to get all the memories. But if there's any that I just have along the way, I might go after it. That's pretty easy. That one is right here. I'll visit that spot if I run into Dinro. That's my my thing, I think. That's true, I guess Hudson is here. She had a quest. Oh, Spring of Power. Okay. Sure. I'm going to use this horse to skip past the, uh, the statue that is in front of this next area. Because I don't feel like bringing out the Master Sword and killing it. Might need to anyway, though, for scraps, so maybe I'll do it. Wonder what he freaked out about. Yeah, I guess I'll do it. We got the Master Sword for a reason. The horse is a distraction. How's it do that? I wanted to jump. Is there another gear that we missed? Yes, okay. 
Horus? There he is. So we need to get the flame for this. Which means I'll probably be leaving my horse here for a bit. Give the quest line or no? Alright, well, we have to get the flame to activate all this. It's obvious. We gotta find it somewhere. Somewhere. Well, it's not raining, hopefully. why we need to have at least one wood weapon around at all times because if we don't then we can't carry it oh looks like we already got seen and there we go I just take this Oh, I was using the Master Sword on that. Whoops. Oh well. Master Sword doesn't mind too much. I think we could get rid of the Edge of Duality, honestly. We've used it a lot. I'm definitely gonna need another wood weapon. Just take this thing around. Looks like I don't need to swing. I was, I was afraid I would need to swing, but we do not. Just need to swing to re-get the flame. Alright, so we need to go here. Let's see if we can find a means to bring this flame down here or not. Actually, be harder than I think. Whoop, on fire. Ah, there is a spot down there. Okay, yeah, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. We need a bucket, or else the rain's gonna get us. That maze might be fun to do. <laughs> I don't care about fall damage, gosh dang it. <laughs> we fear no pain. Just let me put this way first, sir. Please wait. Let me get that back for combat reasons, I guess. from me. Just me and flame. Only flame can understand me. Oh no, the rain. It rained early. This is disaster. And the wolf respawned for some reason. I feel cheated. At the very least, we got the flame to here. Now I need to wait for the rain to be done. 
despite the fact that it's not even supposed to be here right now. Okay, no, nope. there we go. We got it. Now it's windy. Hmm. This route might take longer than I thought. I figured we'd be able to just walk up, but I guess not. Gotta do that every time. <laughs> That's why it's nice to have a torch, but you know, couldn't find one in time. Yeah, I think we're just gonna ignore him. You can't chase me down, I'm too fast. Ouch. Holy crap. <laughs> it hurts. Run? <laughs> I have no fear, but that man, he scares me. Can we, like, jump up? Yeah, okay, cool. I don't have Mipha's grace yet either. So I can't really afford to die too many times. God, this is definitely the long way. I didn't think it would take this long. You don't have much time till rain. It might even just be raining right now. Yep. <laughs> Did that take out all the flame too? Nah, okay. So we got to keep the flame up to where we were. But we gotta wait for the rain to stop. So, I guess we wait. Let's kill the guys who are around here, just to make our lives easier. Actually, let's kill the guys who are up front in this area. That way we don't get attacked. And I can just come back, get the flame, and then go back up. This unsuspecting man must die. I feel cheated. Didn't matter. It's fine. We're going up this way. So you are next, sir. Okay. Look at that little nose. Little nose shake. Bam. Alright. We have dealt with the opposing forces. For the most part. We're gonna walk up here. And then he's gonna be there. Okay. Oh, I think he saw me. Yeah, he did. Ow. I meant to block that. Get perfect gun. Oh, hello. Guess you got a side jump for that. Wow, that's like the most forgiving query rush I've ever seen. Still got what we want. Will he see us? How long can we go on with this? Bam. Didn't even see it coming. A new shield out of that. Is there a fish here? Yes. Ex freaking excuse me. Yeah, that's who I thought it was. 
Where is he? I feel his presence. We're almost done with the rain. So I guess we're just gonna wait it out. What to talk about in the meantime. So there was Endgame, right? Um, I think my favorite part of Endgame was the end. <laughs> um, I guess no spoilers. There is a pre-hinted twist from many movies ago of something that could happen that does happen, which is pretty cool. And I'm a fan of that. And if you know, if you've seen Endgame, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I'm not going to say what character it is. I'm not going to say how it happens, but it does happen. That's pretty cool. Sick. Rain's gone. Um, what else would thinking do I like? I am not necessarily a fan of how it ended, but I, I understand why it ended that way. Um, there's a... I guess I can't even mention the name of the person. But, uh, there's something that was set in motion for a while that was a long time coming. And it made sense that this was the movie for it to happen in. It's just a shame that it has to be in a way that is so irreversible. Like, a lot, a lot of the plot twists in this movie, or a lot of the, the plot points in this movie can be deconstructed by saying, but the Infinity Stones a lot of the time. Um... It's something that you just kind of have to accept because, you know, you can undo anything with the Infinity Stones if you really wanted to. But, uh, that's not, oop, that is annoying. Okay, I gotta go get back. Get back. If we tried to de de deconstruct everything in the movie with, uh, because the Infinity Stones, we'd be here, like, all week. <laughs> so... Rather than deconstruct literally everything in the, in the movie, it's better just to accept it for what it is and enjoy it, I feel. So we gotta jump here? Dang it, Link! I don't want you to climb that small surface. You're doing it wrong. Wow, that's slow. Okay. Again. Is there any better way to do this? I don't think so. Small kids outside. Ah. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear them. Somebody of like the age of like six years old outside. Making their mom mad. <laughs> Be nice to your parents, kids. You'll understand later on that. They're just like you. <laughs> except they're older. And with that in mind, you can have a lot more humility in getting to know them. That's the consensus that I came to. Oh god. Isn't there the uh Oh no we killed it, we killed it, right. We don't gotta worry about that. Sick. I was gonna say, isn't there the guardian statue here? But nope, we got him dead. He's dead. Oh, Alright, we're almost there. Now we can figure out how much Grinding I'll have to do off stream to get this gear. Did that literally just light fire because I passed it? It sure did. Okay. Hello, horse. Bam. Sick. Now I got a waypoint there. Oh, the wounds my body suffered, so I have to take off my clothes. Doctor? Robbie. Okay. I met a child. No. 
I did not mean to say yes. Sick. Okay. So. Now I want to put my clothes back on for one. Okay. So I would like these. We need more ancient gears and cores. So we're probably going to have to go hunting for this sort of thing. Out of all of these, I would say the leggings probably the best one to go for. Just as default. And then the upgrade will probably be pretty expensive, huh? To hear that, or we could just buy some ancient arrows. But I don't want to lose my arrow inventory. This is all pretty expensive. <laughs> but the option's there, I guess. We probably won't actually grind for that. Because that'll take too long. Okay, so now that we have that active at least, what do I want to do now? I want to do the Lanero quest line. Which means we're going to want to go to somewhere relatively close to Lanero. So I guess... This is the best spot. The other tech line, oddly enough. <laughs> we have all the anti-cold gear that we need to get in there. I have enough arrows to do the quest line. Again, I'm not going to spoil it, but it is pretty cool. Alright. Wonder if it's colder because of this quest line or not. It would make sense. Alright, so we want to go up there. Cool. Alright, here we go. We have the gear. There is no need to fear this cold environment. Actually, I'll even get out Fire Sword. Just to be super prepared. Definitely one of my favorite types of environments. Super cold and desolate. <laughs> At least for this game. In real life, no way. <laughs> Get me the heck inside. Keep me away from this cold environment. I never want to see it. But in Zelda, heck yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you played A Link Between Worlds before. Anyone watching this, but... Favorite dungeon by far, I'm thinking, is probably the Ice Temple. I'm not sure if that's the, the canon name for it, but it's the one that's up on uh, Death Mountain, I believe. And um, at Temple, it's design, it's music, it's all really cool. I think second would be the Palace of Darkness. That one's pretty cool, since you have to do the entire temple within darkness. That's pretty sweet. And we're kind of we're kind of already seeing what's what's ahead of us here. Look at all those glowing crystals and stuff. What could that be? <laughs> Very interesting. Very interesting. Does the music change? No, it's just me here in vibrations outside. It's fun. There's the music change. Oh, hello. Not this time, buddy. What's the time of day? It's actually pretty off of the time when skeletons usually spawn. It's kind of weird. I wonder why that is. 
why would a skeleton spawn at this time of day? Oh, look at this incredibly not obvious ambush. It's so cute. It's not even that tight. Uh, try? No, it's just forked. It's very creepy. <laughs> it's only the second time I've heard this music. I mean, we've already used... I was like, we could switch to the flame sword, or I could just finish him with that. It's fine. It's fine. Hello, wolves. Where are we? Yeah. It looks like he's not dead yet. Okay, and we're probably gonna just switch here. Cool. Well, it's another ambush. Ouch, holy crap. He's not very smart. <laughs> you should have waited, buddy. ice stuff that we don't already have. <laughs> I guess we weren't in the ice environment very long last time. So it makes sense as to why we're seeing all this for the first time. Music like this really makes you wonder, like, what if they actually didn't, like, a little bit more scoring in the overworld for, like, area to area? I think it would have been nice. Just a little bit. Didn't have to be much. This was this was definitely adequate to score this moment, I feel. There was barely anything. I think that is actually icy, I guess. Alright. Let's go. Just a forked. It's not worth. Is this, is this damaged? No. Okay. It's scaring me. I was like, oh no, my fire is gone. Alright, we're almost there. You can see it. <laughs> Still a couple of enemies to get through. Oh, nope, we're, we're here. Ta-da! He seems fine. I'm sure... I'm sure the eye growth is completely normal. and had a bit of a, a field day, as you can see. <laughs> All right. Yeah, 
Here we go. Ouch. That hurts. Like we gotta climb a bit. Is he moving? Is he moving? No. Okay. He is moving. A little bit. I need a landing spot. Okay. Also gonna need some help. <laughs> okay. Let's go up a little higher. You on the move? Looks like it. This is where the sniper bow is going to come in handy, I'd say. Potentially, if we go over a long distance. Still protecting. It's that last eye. Ouch. Ouch, ouch. <laughs> Ouch. It's going lower. Hello. We are hunting a dragon, as you can see. <laughs> this isn't the last boss. This is actually a secret boss. I don't know if I can hit that shot. <laughs> Looks like he's circled around. Our target's the tail, right? Yep. Believe that's it. Sick. Got it. Alright. He's cured. Not too hard. Did end up having to use all of the uh, the air draft stuff, but that's fine. You can just get that back. Now we have this shrine unlocked. Gotta shoot the dragon. It's okay, he likes it. It's fine. I believe I shot the claw instead. I don't think it'll matter.
Here it comes. Boom. Okay, now we always get to go. Okay. Oh, I should also probably take his picture before he flies away. Whoop. Gotcha. <laughs> Am I almost done with the game? We're getting there. We're getting there. I've at least gotten all the Divine Beasts. I don't know how much I want to prepare before I go in again in this place. There are some pretty hefty enemies in there. <laughs> and there are some fun side quests to do. This is definitely one of them. I want to maybe see if I could uh, find Satori. That'd be fun to have. If we can get the uh, mountain to actually agree with us before we actually go to Ganon. Probably, I could maybe climb on top of this mountain and see. Actually, we, we want to we wanna do this after the fact. We're like a, a spirit orb away from an upgrade. And this one's basically free. Right? Yeah, we're at three. So this will give us our fourth. Then we can just talk to the uh, lady outside and give us more stamina. Because <laughs> we need it. I have the Master Sword, I have all the Divine Beasts beaten. I don't have all the clothes yet, but we don't need all the clothes. Frost Spear, nice. Inventory full. Flip. Okay, what do we get rid of for that? Because Frost is good. I guess we can get rid of this silly little wood thing. Nice. Alright. Give me my orb. Are not gonna let me skip this one. Interesting. Oh, I'm going to play that game so much. <laughs> I uh, I am planning to take off from work and do like a really long stream when that game comes out. I'll probably even do midnight release for that game and just play it and play it and play it and play it until I can't play it anymore. <laughs> I don't know whether whether I want sword or shield yet. I haven't seen. Well, they, they haven't released any, like, major differences, like who the different co cover legendaries are. That'll probably do it. But, uh, we'll have to see. Maybe I'll have to see some more version differences before I pick. I might even get both, honestly. Like, I'll, I'll order one and then I'll, I'll download one digitally. Because I like to have them physical at least a little bit. Just in case, like, the uh, eShop goes down, you know? Thank you. Um, but doing the midnight release is pretty important, especially for streaming's sake, just to be able to get it done right away. Alright, got some stamina. Sick. Do we have Gale? Nah, we're gonna have to climb the whole way. That's okay. Is there a short way? Nope, there's no short way. We gotta do it the old-fashioned way. I just need some height to make sure that I can see Satori from here. Once we have that height... Oh, actually, that looks like there is a path. Huh. Maybe they just stopped me before it. Because it was like, oh, hey, look, that dragon looks pretty interesting. <laughs> and then they make you go through that whole ordeal instead of walking up all the way here. Alright. So, which way is Satori? Satori is over here. I want to replace the star. Let's just go with the blue pin. Can we see it from here? Okay, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to jump off. End the stream soon? Nah, I got another hour. Yeah, it should be another hour for the stream. I'm going until eight. Okay, that's a bit better. Still can't quite tell which mountain I'm looking for though. Maybe we don't have the right distance. Uh, I'm gonna have to land somewhere. <laughs> oh, 
all this snow is so hard to see. Oh, no, it's rain. Okay. We're no longer cold. Yeah, we're gonna run out. We gotta go down. Okay. And we almost died. <laughs> well, what's that? I don't remember this one. Where is this? Oh, that one, uh, I think that one's a actually pretty interesting shrine. I might do that one. Let's remove this pin. Nah, I'll, I'll keep that pin. That's fine. Legend of Zelda, getting sidetracked 101. What's the longest stream I've done? I think three hours? Maybe four? I can't quite remember. Typically, I just keep it steady at like two. Because that's just the, the time I have allotted. But I'm pretty sure I've done three hour streams before. At the very minimum. If even just by accident. <laughs> I know I've had some with stuff like, Oh god, I didn't expect this to go that long. Like, uh, Slay the Spire when I played that. That took three hours sometimes. Because, uh, you would occasionally end up having a run that would just last the entire stream because the game would last so long. <laughs> huh. This doesn't look nearly as interesting as I remember it. I think I'm thinking of a different shrine. Oh, well, we're here now. Time for them to meet their makers. Oh, well. You gonna throw that at me? <laughs> First I've ever seen one attempt that. Oh, wow. Buddy, please. Ouch. <laughs> Alright, now he's gonna do it. Here it comes. Good job. Ouch. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, there's thorns, I see. So we need to get up top of one of these to uh, get on top. And not that big of a deal. Hello. You missed. Ah, <laughs> oh, we got up. Oh, there's a thorn, that's why. Okay. I guess the one I'm thinking of is a little bit further a different way. Can't you burn these? I'm pretty sure you can burn these. Like 90% sure you can burn these. At the very least, we could burn the surrounding grass. It's gonna be a little hard to do, uh, a, little, a little hard for competition with Pokemon since there are some famous Pokemon streamers out there, but I feel like there's not as many. So that'll help at least a little bit. At least for the sake of marketing. <laughs> I've been thinking maybe about doing Pokemon Let's Go. I've been kind of against it just because um, there's not too much new in buying it. But for the sake of like having some content that's Pokemon to actually have before the game comes out, I feel like that'd be kind of useful. I could also do uh, Pokemon Showdown stuff, but uh, it's been a real long time since I've done competitive Pokemon, so that would be a little difficult to do. <laughs> I'd have to refresh myself and figure out what's OU and UU and all that stuff. I was very into that back when I was in high school. I still know what, like, Eevees and Ivies and all that sorts of breeding stuff that is, but, uh, as far as what's good and what's not good, not so much. What is this? This is just, like, burn it? This looks like you just burn it and then it's yours. It's Magnesis, too. Couldn't I just, like, cryo? And then get on top? Oh, God. And then Magnesis from here? Is that too far? Yeah, it's too far. Okay, then we need fire out to get that. I don't think I have any. No. There's another way we could do it. Is if we manage to somehow... Get an angle where I can shoot through a torch. I guess it's meant to be done through that. So if I like... If I use this... That is not what he intended. 
Huh. There we go. Okay, if I use this and then shoot through it into... There we go. All right. That's how you do it. Am I going to watch Detective Pikachu? I want to. Um, this past weekend with my parents, I saw Endgame. But uh, Pikachu was definitely one that I suggested. They're just... They're not as into Pokemon as I am, so it's it's kind of hard to convince. <laughs> but uh, probably maybe like one or two weekends from now, I'll go and see it myself if I have to, because I definitely want to see what that's all about. I think we could probably get rid of this one. Okay. <laughs> the boat jumped. It was weird. Uh, I think we can get this one. Oh, there's a there's a flame up for that too. Could maybe do it from this side. Should probably equip the Zora stuff if we're gonna be doing this a lot. There we go. Okay. So these ones rotate a certain way. So this will rotate it upwards and put the spout on the bottom, which I guess is what we want, so do that first. And then I want to rotate this way, right? Or have I screwed myself over? Maybe not. Watch it in game two, not lying promise. End game? Alright. So I don't want to go into spoilers for anybody who goes to the VOD, but I think they did a much better job um, with like characters than they did in the last one. Last time I, I felt was a little bit too much the the Thanos show than they than uh, any of the other characters, but this time I feel like everybody got their fair share. I'm gonna have to go all the way around. This might this might mess things up. Did I just like super mess things up? I might have. Oh, I did. <laughs> yeah, there's there's no fire now, so we've we've kind of we've kind of screwed this up. We gotta go out. But um, yeah, I felt like the first movie was too much the Thanos show, whereas everybody had a little bit more of like a meaningful impact in the end game. Especially like like Hawkeye is like night and day when it comes to end game versus uh, Infinity War. <laughs> It's like a completely different character. It's insane. He did a really good job too. I was very impressed by Hawkeye. Huh. Okay. So you have to light up each one. And we can only rotate in these three directions. I guess we'll want to focus on getting the torches lit before I attempt to uh, do anything else. So what's the correct moves here? Ideally, you want the water on the bottom at the end. But can we go on the sides? I think you can, right? There's no fire on the other side, right? There is not. So how many torches are there total then? There's one... Two, three, four, five torches, and then one water spout. So all I have to make sure is that the water does not move into a burning torch, which means we need to rotate this down at least once to start, preferably this direction so we can get that torch, and then rotate it sideways to get the other ones. So let's do that. So we got that torch. This also lets me get that guy taken care of, which is nice. Missed. <laughs> Still missed? What is this? There we go. All right. I can get that just enough. Might as well get it. Okay. Okay, that's not too bad. 
So now we want to rotate around the sides. Looks like it saved my arrow. That's nice of them. Which means we want to rotate with this one. And then catch the other torches with that. Now I need to worry about the one on top. What's my favorite Pokemon character? If I'm going by Pokemon... For the longest time, it was Zorark. Um, just because I thought the ability was cool. What is my favorite one now? I need to rotate upwards, right? Oh no, I can I can just rotate side, right? But wouldn't it just put out the fire then? We also have one on top that I need to get still. So I need to rotate side again one more time. Okay. So I got that. Um, oh, is, isn't this just the solution? Don't I just turn and then the water spout? No, the water spout's on the bottom. That's right. If it had to be favorite Pokemon character as far as like including people I feel like I don't remember her name but the one psychic girl that Ash fell in love with was pretty cool it was like from like generation three she was like in in game she was like the head of the of the spiral tower but I, I just felt like the thing that they developed with her was pretty cool I don't remember her name though she's got like purple hair and stuff Is there no way to get this? Oh, you know what? We could go side. Is there another flame on the back? I know I, I just moved one. So there has to be one there, right? Yeah, there's a flame on the back. I need to make it so the water doesn't rotate into a flame when it rotates. But it's on the bottom, so it's always going to rotate into a flame. That's right. So it's just a matter of how we do this. If we do it now, we get the one on top into there. And then it breaks out that flame. And then breaks out the other flame. So I need to get the water on top and then rotate around. Okay. But then I also I can't I can't rotate the water on top because then it puts on the flame on top into the water and then puts it out. So I need the water on the side. Or I could just use an arrow to light it. That's true. So if we go like this. That puts that out. And then we rotate here. Oh, is that just it? That's just it. We've done it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Mirrors is like a ninja Pokemon. Is it Greninja? Greninja is a, a well-liked Pokemon. That's for sure. the frog ninja there's a few ninjas in the Pokemon universe I'm gonna look up who that psychic girl's name is purple psychic Girl, Pokemon, Ash relationship, we'll probably get it. Uh, uh, it doesn't get it. it. It says Sabrina, but that's not right. Greninja, okay, cool. I thought it was probably going to be that. <laughs> the only other option was like uh, a Selgor, which is like a very particular kind of choice. And we don't even need to be here. Why am I here? This is the one I was thinking of. This one's pretty cool. Could probably get there from Veruta. Yeah, Greninja's got a lot of anime presence right now, from what I remembered. Uh, it's uh, one of Ash's 
like particular favorites from the generation it was from and gets like its own forms and stuff. I remember they released the like the Ashes Greninja a little while back and that one had like Battle Bond as its special ability and then people complained that it was too OP. <laughs> I don't remember if that one got banned Ubers or not. I feel like it did. Also, why am I on this end? Why am I on that end? I'm gonna go that way. Should be close enough. Oh, so I should be able to see Satori from here, and it does look like he isn't active right now. Why are some of my other favorites? I'm a sucker for T-Rex, so Tyrantrum's pretty cool for me. It's the big rock T-Rex from the 6th generation. I like that one a lot. Um, other than that... I like Glossiopod from the current generation. He's pretty cool. Although his ability kind of sucks. <laughs> Actually, I should just land on the steer. The steer is the solution to the puzzle. Alright, we gotta... We gotta try harder. Need some stamina. No. Oh, he bucked me off. <laughs> the madman. I had the stamina, dang it. I did. Alright, we gotta find another one then. There's all these does around. Maybe we have to activate Cass. I can hear him. <laughs> Get that crap out of here. Well, he's still running. They're all scared. What happened with the plan? Oh, I did that. I actually did do that. Um, that was two weekends ago on the weekend. We finally managed to make it happen. It was really nice. I ended up voicing Phoenix Wright and the judge like I always do. Uh, I also ended up voicing... I'm running around in circles. I also ended up voicing um, Luke at me, which is like a, a really smarmy full of himself detective, which was a lot of fun to do. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. And our, our next time we're going to end up doing it will probably end up being the end of the month some weekend. That'll be nice once we get to do that again. It was interesting because me and my one friend, we know this game pretty well, but the other two friends who are there, they don't. And when they get reintroduced to characters that they haven't seen in a while, didn't see it. It's fine. We didn't stream it anyway. It was just a thing we did over Skype. But uh, it was a lot of fun. If I were to do it in that kind of fashion where it would be public, I probably just wanted to do a Let's Play of it. Um, and I want to go from the beginning. I think I, I'd want to just do the voice acting for everybody from the beginning. <laughs> It'd be pretty hard. <laughs> like, it's already hard enough doing, like, four characters in one particular scenario. Doing eight would be a lot. <laughs> but I'd be up to the challenge. It'd just take me a little while to set it up. Alright, so the whole goal of this is we're supposed to get a antlered stag deer. I don't know. I guess we could track deer. We do have the upgraded tracker thing, right? And I'm pretty sure I've taken a picture of a deer. At least once. Let's see if I can find it. There we go. Okay. Oh, that's a doe. Dang. We need to take a picture of a stag so I can track them. Alright, I'll be ready for that when it happens. Although I guess the doe probably won't go too far from a stag, so we'll do that anyways. 
and give us a, a good sense as to where we need to go for our next egg. Oh, don't you freaking attack me. Get out of here. <laughs> Apparently this way? No, this way. Okay. I wish I had the, uh, the stealth gear, but that stuff's expensive. So, we're not gonna get that right now. Make this a lot easier. Where's the dough? Do we have st Oh, we actually- we have a stealth potion. This will be helpful. There's a stag. Okay, so first off... They call them bucks in this game? Okay. Ah, oh, it vanished out of existence. That's unlucky. There's a stack. Magnificent. But we gotta catch him. Pay no mind. I'm just going... Oh, really, dude? Do I have a wooden weapon of some kind? Get out of here. Did you scare him off? You did. I have an increased night speed with this gear. He's just gonna outrun me. But I can track the right person, though. There we go. Oh, can we catch him? Got him. Nice, okay. Don't you freaking get on my deer. I worked hard for this deer. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's over this way. I guess we're just going towards Cass, so it's not too hard to find. There he is. Hello. Got it. Stag, do a stag things. Didn't even need this stuff up. Alright, okay, what's in here? I don't actually remember what's in this shrine. It might just be a give you stuff shrine, but it could actually be a puzzle shrine. What we got? Oh, it is a puzzle shrine. Okay. Inch trifecta. I don't remember this at all. Almost gonna end the stream. Yeah, it's 30 minutes from now. So what do we do? We, we move that and it does something. So I guess we'll do that now. We can turn it off with stasis too. All right, what's it do? What does this do? I am unsure. It did something. I think it moved the platform. I'm not entirely sure. Can't we just use this block to go anywhere we want though? Something like that? At the very least we can get that chest. There we go. Gimme gimme. Thunderblade, but durability, wow. Give me that. Oh man, everything's too good. I guess we've used this for a bit though. I can get rid of this. Our weapons are becoming too powerful. <laughs> Alright, what I. Is it possible to steer this thing with this? Thought I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Uh, uh. There we go. It's like a car, except, you know, not as easy steering. Now what the goal of this is, I don't know, but, you know, I guess we get here now. Sick. 
Do I get to now put this on top of it? Somehow I don't think this was the intended solution. <laughs> I don't think that jump is going to be high enough. I think we need to move this platform with the thing. I think you can use stasis from here. Ah, oh, you can. That'll be enough. Because it'll turn on again, then poke it, and then we're done. Somehow, I do not think that was the intended solution. <laughs> but I'll take it. Okay, what else can we do as far as like cool quests that are available? I guess we could try and get the big horse, but you need a lot of stamina for that. I'm gonna have to like cook some more stamina meals or something. Is gas gone? I need to get that tracking up and put it back to shrine. Cool. Yeah, gas is gone. We could go and track down Dinro. What time is it? It's 4.40 a.m. He's past his one hot spot that he takes at this time of day. I could chase him down, though. There's some fun stuff in Herba. It's like the, uh, the maze up here, which is pretty cool. Probably want to get my horse to do that. Let's go down here. And I'm pretty sure the shrine in there is just a, you made it through the maze, here's an item kind of thing, but it might also be for the barbarian gear, if I'm remembering right. Barbarian gear is definitely good, so it's, it's worth doing, but let's get this stuff up. There. And there's a horse table. Like how the dog unflinchingly stands there. Doesn't even react as you pass. Is this face red? <laughs> because of the cold? Or because of the lighting? I think it's because of the cold. That's a nice touch. Okay. So we're going to here. All right. What's this other stamp? I know we got the blue one. What's the orange one? Oh, that's bang. It's bone. Oh, no. we just never, never reset. That's fine. Get back on the horse. So unless I literally see Didral coming around right now, we're just gonna go about doing this for a bit. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Oh, speak of the devil. <laughs> uh, let's get Denral tracked, just so we don't lose him. Is he, does he count as a monster or an animal? I think he counts as a monster. Oh, we've never seen him before. Okay, we haven't actually taken Dinro's picture. Yeah. He's coming. He makes his way across the bend here. We have an arrow. All we need is the scale. I just need some high ground before he gets here. Here he comes. <laughs> Get in there. Okay. We are ready. Just gotta get him to pass. We come up, we shoot him, 
get the scale, and then we can uh, get another shrine, and we'll get a flashback too, which will be nice. Actually, kind of want him to be more in camera, just so we can see when he's close. He's coming. Look at those little wiggly hands. We got the right bow. I mean, we don't need exact. We should be fine with what we have. Wait for him to come lower. Also, might want to put on my anti flammable gear. <laughs> do I not have the helmet? Okay, well, I guess that's fine. We will do the mix, looks like. Air has become very cold. Oh, it's that bad, huh? Okay. He's close. Got it. Alright. Got his tummy. There we go. Okay, so that means we want to go all the way over here. This will allow us to get the Spirit of Power unlocked, as well as get another memory flashback for Zelda at the same time, which will be Nice to see. No thunder, thankfully. You know, I could just skate. <laughs> Why walk when you can skate? I see you over there. All right. Yeah, yeah, I kind of figured. Worth it for the time. There should be a memory here. There it is. I'm seeking help regarding this power that has been handed down over time. Prayer will awaken my power to seal Ganon away. Or so I've been told all my life. And yet, Grandmother heard them. The voices from the spirit realm. And Mother said her own power would develop within me. But I don't hear or feel anything. Father has told me time and time again. He always says, quit wasting your time playing and being a scholar. Curse you. I've spent every day of my life dedicated to praying. I've pleaded to the spirits tied to the ancient gods. And still the holy powers have proven death to my devotion. 
Please, just tell me. What is it? What's wrong with me? Having trouble getting her spiritual power back. Or, rather, to get it at all. <laughs> Takes a lot of practice. And good time. Speaking of good timing. Let's get that scale, which we just stupidly moved up to the top. There we go. All right. Put that baby right in there. Ooh, secret. It's just like the other shrine. <laughs> You just get a nice little waypoint and spirit orb. Nothing to complain about. what the item is in here. I feel like it must be like flame blade or something like that. Maybe I'll just leave it in here. Oh, it's a it's actually a test of strength. I guess that makes sense since this is a a realm of power. I will respect this then. This is gonna be a good test <laughs> of strength. Okay. I don't know if we have any strength buff stuff, but we might get clobbered. There's a, there's a pretty high chance we're just going to lose, but I'm going to do it anyway. Album full, no. <laughs> get that album. Let's get rid of... I guess these. Gotcha. Or not? It didn't register. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there we go. You know, he's doing his little blade thing. They make you think about it here. Well, oh, the timing is apparently not enough to where you can lift them. That's interesting. Side for that one. Oh, he actually does lasers after the fact. I've never seen that. There we go. And he's still got the shield. There we go. Now we have the block pre prepared so we can't mess this up. There you go. Ouch. I have to wait till the very last second. Okay. Here's your cryostasis. Hit yourself in a little block. There you go. My sword, no. What do we use now? Let's go with this one. Actually, is Master Sword active now? No, it's not. Okay. I was gonna say, that'd be 60 damage against that. That'd be worth it. There we go. Okay. I wonder how far away you can do that. There we go. Okay. Not 
too surprised about that. Oh, this is the this is the laser, huh? Yeah. It's a good break. Uh, let's go with the master sword. I can afford to recharge it a bit. Ouch. Okay. Master Sword. What else can we use? That's I can dodge dual. He's fine. Barely got that jump. <laughs> Are you confused? Apparently not. <laughs> Wonder why it wouldn't let me glide. I was trying the whole time. Oh well. Ouch. These relentless lasers. There it is. I'll probably get him to the next phase, if not very close. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost positive he's there now. Yep. <laughs> that looks like the last phase. I'll just uh, put this right here. Good track, friend. There's only one other strike. <laughs> I feel silly. Oh well. We got him. I want to take a picture of those. Those are pretty rare items. Okay. Album. Album? I need that. Don't need that. This should be enough. All right. Cool. No, 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 no. Delete. There you go. Okay, what's in the box? Got a ruby? Flame spear. I'm out of... I already have all these good weapons. I guess we just used like a bunch of duality though. I don't think we can get rid of it. I'd probably break rather quickly. This makes me wonder, what the heck is the... The spring of of courage, then, because <laughs> I don't even remember there being a trial of the spirit of power. I could try getting it. It's not too hard to get to. There's a lot of lizardos around there, though. At the very least, we could try and get Farosh and then uh, get the scale from him. That is probably easy. Well, what time of day is this? 1.30 p.m. He's actually about to come down in this spot. This is on top of there. I typically get him from around here. But I'd be able to see him from this point. So let's just go on top of the tower. He comes down at about 2 p.m., 1 p.m., if I'm remember, remembering right. So he should be there right now. Or it might be a.m. 
Either way, one one a.m. Whatever time is closest right now should be okay. Oh no, this is the this is the wrong half of the day. Yeah, he's supposed to come out at night time. This is daytime. Well, I can at least get in position. I like being here because he goes into that lake after he comes out of the top of Mount Farosh, which is back here on top of that little spot. Um, the only issue might be we might need to activate the shrine up there to get him to come down. I'm pretty sure we saw him here last time, though. It comes from right up there. I am top of those waterfalls. And then comes all the way down here and into that waterfall. Do I have wooden flint? Or no? I know we at least have flint. It doesn't look like I have wood, so I'm gonna have to cut down a tree. A small tree. <laughs> These trees are huge. There's a reasonably small tree. Wow, well, I feel kind of robbed. Is there no tree small enough for that? Uh, all my weapons are too good to be cutting wood right now. Oh, you know what? But there's a fire right over here. Yeah, so I don't I don't need wood. We just make it nighttime at the stable and then once it's night time then we climb up also we get beetle gimme gimme okay so we want night Cool. Alright, this will give us three hours and some change before we have to be up there, so I have the time. Unless he's just like coming down right now. Oh, he's actually, he actually is coming down right now. I didn't realize that this was exactly at night that he comes down. Well, good timing then. I always waited until like 1 p.m. or something. And he would come down then. Maybe he just comes more often. If you haven't done the the, uh, the shrine yet, or maybe it just comes down more than once. I'm not sure. Alright. It's just a quick tag and we're done. I do believe we got it. There we go. Alright, that's the easy part. Now we have to actually get to the shrine. Which might be a bit harder. A giant boomerang, whatever, we don't need that. Is that the that's that's a claw. That's not a skill. <laughs> I think it still works, but I'm not sure. I guess it doesn't particularly matter. Since, uh, we can always just come back after we find the area and clean it out. I'm pretty sure it's like a double shrine deal anyway. Oh, there's a lot of chests around here. What the heck? Yeah. That poor chest. It's going down the river. You get him one. Opal. Okay. Money. Can't say no to that. Frosh is already way up. Yeah. Oh, another blood moon. 
Well, it's not too bad. We haven't gotten the diamond yet, which is kind of a shame, but... There are worse things that could have happened. There's a diamond that is in uh, Satori Mountain that is good for grinding because it respawns there after every blood moon. But, uh, we didn't get it. It's okay. Getting all these topazes and stuff instead, I guess. Oh, it's already happening. Quick! Oh, please. <laughs> oh, nice. Shock arrow too. Wow. All right. Now we're gonna we're gonna reset this stuff. These chest. Do these chests just completely reset, or are they done forever now? I I forget. Regardless, we're gonna wait for blood moon before we do anything. Okay. Nope. They're just gonna stick. How about the other ones? They're still open too. I don't know how permanent that is, because I feel like I've opened those chests more than once before. But maybe I'm just imagining things. So the quest line for this particular shrine we have unlocked already. Oh, serpent's jaws, here we go. And it's right there. Got so many beacons. Okay. This will be the last thing I do this stream. And then we'll wrap up. Tomorrow I'm not entirely sure what I want to do. Because I, I know we're going to be doing Hearthstone at least Wednesday and Thursday, if not also Friday. Uh, I know they're doing the single player campaign release on uh, this Thursday. And I have that sorted out so we'll be doing that that day but um as far as like how long the campaign is i'm not entirely sure oh it's ego uh, what's our most unnecessary weapon man all these weapons are so good <laughs> okay i guess we'll we'll just use the shock thing on him is it my only shock thing though it is my only shock. No, there's two. Okay. The one I have the most plentiful. Actually, they're all they're all even. No, I have more. I have the most frost. Okay. So I'll use the frost spear instead. Ah, but I can't see you. Gene. Please, we use that duplex bow quite a bit. So we'll trade. Okay. Stop shooting me, somebody, please. I'm gonna save somebody. Wow, that's a lot of dudes. Didn't even stand a chance. <laughs> There's bats too. <laughs> Got a tree by accident. Yep. Oh, we needed wood anyway. You are safe now. <laughs> No gratitude. Wow. Oh, there's the ambush. I see you up there. Ain't fooling nobody. <laughs> Her aim is so bad. <laughs> there's Cass. Okay, so what's the easiest way to get up? Is it just a waterfall? Uh, 
This current isn't the right current. We need to go a bit further. Don't you toot your horn at me. They're gonna do it. No, I didn't do it. I'm surprised. Are you Yiga? Now you're fine. Ouch. We're safe now. That's more like it. So many enemies. <laughs> Where's this go? There's this go. Okay. Continuing to move on. I know this spot coming up has a lot of enemies too. It's a little bit this way. Okay. I don't think we want to climb that. Oh, I don't. Oh, I do have Gale. Why, why aren't you? Gale? There we go. <laughs> Okay. It's watered to our right, but it's not the right one. Still going this way. Oh, it's a bloopy. Quick. Sick. Ugh. That probably means the Tori's awake, but we're a bit too far from that right now. Figure I might as well since I accidentally cameraed anyway. <laughs> We're not going to get this Satori today. He's too far. I believe that is the timing, that if you see a blue piece, Satori is awake at the same time. But I'm not entirely sure that's how it works. Can I take the cliff? Cliffside okay? Cliffside okay. Let's do a cliffside. Prevent us from getting ambushed by all that stuff. Make this a lot easier. <laughs> Hello. Should probably get these luminous stones. We'll probably need them later. Running out of money anyway. That was only one? Okay, two. Cool. <laughs> Almost there. It's to our left a little bit. bit of a ways to go. Oh, we passed it a bit. Okay. What was the pink one? That's way away. That's way away from here. Oh yeah, that's not what we want at all. <laughs> this is what we want. What is the serpent's jaws? There it is. Okay. Don't you doo doop me. These actually look pretty scary. Oh, it's a black one. No wonder he looks so scary. This is a pretty good use of this. You're just gonna stand there and watch your friend die? That seems kind of mean. I'm just gonna run. Or not. Wow, there was a lot. <laughs> I remember there was a few, but this is kind of insane. <laughs> you just stay there. That 
was a little overkill. Did not mean to use one on him. Apparently not two. Now let's just walk in. Nice. All right, well, we made it, but we don't have the scale. I'll see if the claw works. I don't think it will. But I've been wrong before. Nope. Okay. Yeah. We need this scale. Okay, well, I will get a scale off stream, I guess. And then the next time that we start, we can just head in here and get whatever we need. Um, I would expect tomorrow is kind of a toss-up between a lot of things. I'm still not quite sure what I want to do. At the very worst, it will just be Hearthstone again, I think. But I'm I'm kind of on the fence and maybe saying it'll be Overwatch instead. Since I know we're doing Hearthstone for like two or three of the next days afterwards. Um, in any case, that is it for today. And I will see you tomorrow.